What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Wayne6578 representing that DD game and bringing you guys a quick depth chart setup. Death, 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 death chart setup for the Baltimore Ravens. I had a guy hit me up on Facebook. Uh, his name slips my mind at the moment, but uh, this is for you, man. I'll put his uh, name in the description. But anyway, uh, he wants me to give him a, a setup for the Baltimore Ravens running West Coast offense. And I also said while I'm in there, I'll hit him up and I'll show him the defensive setup. How I would run with the Baltimore Ravens. I have not played with the Baltimore Ravens this year in Madden 16. But uh, eventually I'm going to get around to playing with every team. And I do always adjust my rosters. Uh, I really like speed. And on uh, defense, <clears throat> I like... Uh, Good defensive lineman, do a lot of block sheds. So uh, Baltimore has a decent team this year. They're not showing it in real life, but uh, let's just get to the setup, man. Quarterback, of course, you got Joey Flacco and you got Matt Schaub. Uh, my halfbacks, I like Justin Forsett. He has a speed of 86. The only other guy that has that's faster than him is this Terrence McGee. Uh, so if you're running the West Coast, man, you really want to look at catching, catching and speed. And uh, make sure they don't fumble the ball. So, so we'll look at catching for these running backs, and you'll see how I set it up based up on that. If you're going to be um, running and throwing a lot of passes to your running backs out of the backfield, uh, catching traffic is good, but just regular catching, man. Just make sure they can catch the ball. You you don't want to get that guy wide open for a touchdown and he drops the ball. As you can see, man, it's not really that good, the running backs. I mean, you don't have any Matt Fortes or anything like that. But Justin Forsett is 78, and you got the uh, fullback back here that is 78. So you really can play with that a little bit. Uh, but Justin Forsett's carrying is 89, so he really shouldn't fumble a lot. Also, T. McGee is 89, and then you got Allen with 86. So once you go through the catching and the speed... As you can see, the speed, you got 86, again, um, McGee is 87, and then you got um, Lorenzo, also 86. So that's how I would set up my halfbacks, Forsett, Allen, Lorenzo, and McGee. Uh, going on to that fullback, I'll put uh, Kyle right here, and then Gilmore. And the wide receivers, man, this is where you're going to do all your damage, man. You really want speed. I like height and speed. So, I would put Marlon Brown at my number one. Uh, Steve Smith, of course, he's a beast. He doesn't have it like he used to, but still, you got to go with him right here. He has 80. Overall, 90. But he's pretty short. I wouldn't use him a lot but for possession receiver. But this guy right here, man, he's 6'2", and he has 97 speed. We just hope he has decent catching. As we can see, his catching is 77. It's not as good as Steve Smith and Marlon Brown, but again, he shouldn't drop a lot of passes, but 77 is pretty decent. You really want it to be up there in the 85s or 90s, but you can deal with that. But his height and his speed, you cannot get away from that. So I would be throwing to him quite a bit, man, down the field. As you can see in my videos, I love to throw bomb passes. So, again, this is my receiver, wide receiver setup. I'll go with Marlon Brown, Steve Smith, Pearman, Aiken, Waller, and Givens. And, again, you're going to be passing a lot. You want speed out there. You want height. So, that's how I would set that up. Hitting up that tight end. Of course, you got to go with Pitta, man. He only has a speed of 80. The only other person that's faster than him in that position is... Uh, Max Williams and Kyle. So I like Pitter right there and I like Gilmore. <clears throat> Not too fast, but fast enough. 